Hey, so what is up, guys? CP Cool here, back at you again with another video. And we haven't done a card opening in probably almost three weeks. I don't know, I've done card hunts, but I haven't done an opening for you guys. So today we have some pretty cool product from our last card hunt pickup that we did yesterday and the day before. If you've not seen that video already, it will be linked at the very end of this video. And yeah, you can just check out the, if, it, if you don't see it, just check out my channel page and click on the top video. And that's it. It's, just called Pokemon and Funko Pop Hunt Around Town. So yeah, this is a few of the things that we got in that. These two things from Walgreens, which is a baseball mystery box and a Panini Prism baseball pack with that bonus pack in there as well. And I also decided why not throw in an Evolving Skies 3 pack? Cause yeah, I still have like barely any of the Evolving Skies set and need to open a little bit more of it if I even want to have a chance of coming close to completing it. So. <clears throat> what should we start off with first? I want to start off with the Evolving Skies because I feel like it's like the least like exciting thing in this, but I knew you guys are here for the Pokemon, most of you, so this is going to be probably the most exciting thing in the video for you, but still the other stuff's pretty sick, in my opinion, because I also like baseball cards, so be ready to see some more baseball card openings on the channel than you've ever had before because we're gonna try to get a little bit more in. All right, so hopefully these packs can give us some heavy hitters. Uh, I do think I already have this promo, so I am gonna go ahead and give you guys the code card for this one. So go ahead and claim that online if you want this ice cube. I do already have it, so yeah, go ahead and claim that one. Like for real this time, I'm actually gonna give you guys that one to claim. So I'm gonna need a sleeve for my ice cube promo. Sleeve him up and set him on camera for all of you guys to see up there. And we have a few packs of Evolving Skies to crack as well. So let's get these open. I know these have really good pull rates, so hopefully we can get something really good in these. Unless we get a dud one, but let's go. Four from the back to the front. It's a water type energy for you guys. We're going to go into an Aroma Lady, Moon and Sun Badge, Pyroar, Bergmite, Roggenrola, Flabebe, Swablu, Litleo, Rapid Strike School, the Flying Dragon, and a Thievul. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take these cards and I'm gonna pull out that Moon Sun Badge and then we'll Roma Lady. Cause I'm not 100% sure if I have either of those. And then we'll set the rest off to the side because that's most likely gonna be bulk. So all of this is gonna go in our rare reverse stack here. And we're gonna crack into our next pack. This is the Sylveon artwork. So hopefully we can get that Sylveon in here. And it is a white and green code. So we have a chance of something really good in this pack. Let's go ahead and do four from the back to the front. And we're gonna go with a fire type energy to hopefully get a fire pull. And it is a psychic type energy. That's nice. And we're gonna go into a lantern, Ursa Ring, Crustle, Swablu, Litleo, Shinshao, Dino, Pumpkaboo, Zorua, and a Dracozolt V, which I definitely did not have. So that's an amazing hit to pull. And we are gonna go ahead and sleeve it, guys, because we need to sleeve up this hit. And we do still have one more pack, so hopefully it can give us a heavy hit. <clears throat> this one is the oh, Duraludon V Max art. Can we pull any fire in this one? No, it's a solid green code, but we were still able to get that Dracozolt V, so you can't really complain too much because we still were able to get a V hit. And let's say we get an air pack here, but I doubt that. So we are gonna go with a water type energy. It is a dark type energy. We have Golduck, Herdier, Single Strike Scroll, the Fang Dragon, Dino, Teddy Ursa, Phoebus, Hoppip, Hitmonchan, Boost Shake, and Appleton. Go ahead and add this single strike scroll to the stack as well. So I'm not sure about that hit, but let's move all of the not as good Pokemon stuff back to the top of the playmat. Move some things off to the side, and we are gonna get into the baseball product, which hopefully you guys are excited for that. I personally am myself. These are some pretty cool looking product. So, Let's see what we can go ahead and get out of these. I'm gonna 
Uh, sh I think we should end it with the prism just because I think that's a little bit of a better product. I have my trusty scissors here so we can get this tape seal off the box. All right, that should open it up. Wow, they put some pretty good tape on this. <laughs> All right, hopefully we will be able to get it opened after that. I kind of messed up the box a little, but not too big of a deal. Do have some pretty cool packs in here, and I think it's cool how the card comes in a top loader. <clears throat> Panini Golden Age. I have no idea what this is or what year it's from. Let's try to find a year. 2014. So this isn't getting opened. I don't know what this is from. I'm going to have to look it up, see if that's actually a hit pack. Um... But the rest are just 2019 Series 1. But this one is a 16 card pack, and these are 10 card packs. So this one has a little bit extra in it. And okay, we got a Mookie Betts Los Angeles Dodgers. This cool, it's already on a sleeve and a top loader. And this is from 2020. So it's a 2020 Mookie Betts card. It's probably good, but I'm not sure. So let's get into these 10 card packs of 2020 Series 1. <clears throat> so these are going to be from last year, so we'll probably see random cards of people wearing masks, which is going to kind of be strange, but I haven't opened this because I wasn't really into baseball at the time. <clears throat> Jake Lamb. Let's look for some hits. Aria Hame, Garcia Sival. Don't know what these are. Bring it in. JT Romuto, Elvis Andreas, Joe Jimenez, and Jose Martinez. I don't think there's really any like crazy chase cards in these packs. But again, I don't know a ton about baseball cards. So. That's definitely more my friend's thing. Junior Baseball Fnac 12 is really into the baseball. So yeah, that's a little better. Romano, Sal Romano, Charlie Blackman, Jake Bowers, when he was on the Rays, that's a rookie. Charlie Morton, Ilan Arnado, Kasner, whatever, Andrew. Dynamic Duo, Jose Barrios, Didi Gregorius, Johnny Cueto. I do want to see, did we get any rookies in the last pack that I may have missed? No, we didn't get any rookies in the last pack. So this Jake Bowers was our rookie. And we're getting into the 16 card pack now, which is kind of stacked up. I don't know what's going to be in here. So let's pull it open and find out. Oh, this is one of those weird playing cards in the back. All right, what can we get in here? 16 card pack. What are we looking for? On the front, look for exclusive Ronald Acuna Jr. highlight cards and contest cards. Okay, so contest cards wouldn't even work anymore though. This is old. Archie, okay, I do see some shine. Archie Bradley, Mike Trout, Jason Kipnis, Dennis Santana, which is a rookie. Pittsburgh Pirates, the Yankees win, Gordon, whatever. Okay, future stars, Shane Beaver. That's got to be good. Oh, what is this? Nolan Arnato, Colorado Rockies, stars of the game card. Ronald Acuna Jr. card. We have Joey Wendell from the Rays, Reese Hoskins, Mike Clevenger, Randall Gritchick, Ian Kennedy, and Chu Sin Su. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce it, guys. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, we're going to get sleeves for these cards. Do I have enough, or am I going to have to open my new box of sleeves? Don't know what, like, if these are any, like, really good hits. But, I'm going to sleeve them anyway. Should have enough. Okay, let's 
So we got some hits out of there. That's pretty good. All right. Was that my last sleeve? No, I do have one. I only have two more. So I'm going to have to open my new box of sleeves. In this video, I use Dragon Shield. This is not sponsored by Dragon Shield, but I'm going to go ahead and shout them out. Dragon Shield is a super good sleeve company that I really like to use for my cards. Great quality sleeves. You can either get, I always get clear, but I either get the matte clear or the um, normal clear. I personally like normal clear better, but the matte clear is what I picked up this time because I like how you can evenly see the card from both sides, rather with matte clear, gives you more of a different feel. Almost really good for a deck, it kind of slides right out. <clears throat> so that is it, guys. We're now going to get into our Panini Prism Baseball, which is so, I'm so pumped for. This is an amazing product that I'm just super excited to crack into. So we have some Panini Prism packs for this, which are super insane in good value. I was able to find these at Walgreens of all places. Our, we are gonna save our bonus pack for last, and we're gonna go and get ahead and get into our normal pack first <clears throat> of Panini Prism. Actually guys, before we get into these packs, I'm gonna go ahead and look it up to see if it's worth keeping the bonus pack sealed or actually opening it up. So we're gonna go ahead on Google, because I have my computer right here, and I'm going to look up Panini Prism 2021, is it? Yeah, 2021 bonus pack. And I need baseball. And we're gonna go into shopping on here and see how much these are worth. <clears throat> All right, bonus packs by themselves. That's the six, 12 card bonus pack. I think this only has like six. Going for $16.99. All right, these are going for over 10 bucks a piece. But again, I think it's worth opening because we're able to get it for a normal price. It's not like I overpaid for it. And while we're at it, let's look up the Panini Golden Age six trading cards pack from 2014. Need to see how much this is worth, guys. 2014 Panini Golden Age Pack. Shopping on this single pack. We're going to see how much these are worth. Just single pack wise. I cannot find it. That's strange. I can't find it on here, guys. So I can't find it. That's still going to stay sealed, though, because I don't know what. Let's go ahead and get into our Panini Prism now. Because, hey, you guys are here to see some cards. So we got to open the Panini Prism. I got to be super careful with these cards. Let's go, guys. <clears throat> We're going to flip them around individually. Starting it off with a rookie from Texas, Sam Huff. Guys, I literally swear these are going to be so good. I have to sleeve every one. <laughs> Seems like the great, good, really good cards are in the back, though. So we have a rookie Sam Huff here, which is definitely one of our Highlight hits, I feel like. A really good hit at the end of the video. And okay, right here, Emergent Jason Dominguez. Okay, that's got to be a really good card. Oh my God, these cards are so fire looking. I cannot even get over how amazing these cards look. I love the material feel to them. It's so good. And I'm already getting a sleeve ready for this next card. We have a Fearless Prism Garrett Cole. This has to be good. This has to be good. Oh my God, guys. These are insane. Okay, okay. So now we have all our normal cards. So we're going to flip these around and go through. And we have Andy Young, which is a rookie. 
Oh my god. I don't even know if any of these are insanely good, but these are amazing looking cards. Ken Griffey Jr. Whoa. <laughs> Zach Plesak. Rod Carew. Another rookie, Luis Garcia rookie card. That's good, guys. Another rookie. Jorge Mateo or George Mateo. I don't know what it is. All right, we have Willie McAuliffe. Freddie Freeman. And another rookie. Oh, my God. Dalton Varsho. Haven't really heard of him before, but oh my god, this stack of rookies is absolutely insane. So in that pack, we were able to get four rookies. These are our normal cards. We have Ken Griffey Jr., Zach Plesak, Rod Caro, Willie McClaw, and Freddie Freeman on our normal cards. And the rest, we were able to get Andy Young, Luis Garcia, Dalton Varso, and Jorge Mateo on all of our rookie cards there. Insanely good. Oh my god, I love these cards. And then our heavy hitters were the fearless Garrett Cole. A special rookie, Texas or Sam Huff. And we have Jason Dominguez for an emergent card. Alright, we have our bonus pack now. This is going to be good. I don't even know what's supposed to come in here. If it's special cards, if it's just kind of the same cards. Well, let's open our bonus pack. Okay, we're going to get some more prism in here. I think it's only six cards, but let's flip them around and let's do this. Okay, we got Andre Scrub Multicolor Rookie. That has to be good. Okay, these are all multicolor. Tim Thome. Guys, I don't know how to pronounce any of this. These are probably off screen. But we have Carlos Correa. Wow. Insane hits. What are we going to go into now? Travis Blanklethorn, rookie. Another rookie hit. I don't even know how good these are. Another rookie hit. Koye Ariea, rookie again. And our final card, Miguel Cabrera. Illumination card. Oh my god, guys. These hits are insane. Oh my god. All right. I'm going to have to talk to Liam about these. I don't know what's good or what's not. But Panini Prism. Oh my god. <clears throat> these are insane. I just can't get over how these cards look. Wow. So many rookies, so many hits. This was an insane opening altogether. And we have so many amazing cards to go through. Like, this was an insanely good opening. All right, guys, let's do a quick recap. We have our Dracozold V from our three pack of Evolving Skies. We have this pack of Panini Golden Age that I'm going to keep sealed from the year 2014, even though I'd really want to see what comes inside here. I'm just not going to open it. And if I realize it's not worth as much, we will open it in another video. We have a crazy Panini Prism hits. We have Fearless Garrett Cole, rookie of Sam Huff. We have an Illumination Miguel Cabrera, which is an insanely good hit, I feel like. And we were able to get an emergent Jason Dominguez. These are some insanely good hits, I feel like. So we're going to have to look up every single one of these cards to find an amazing price on. And then we have a few other kind of normal cards from the other packs I thought were good. Nolan Arenado, stars of the game. Future stars Shane Bieber, 150 years. And a Ronald Acuna Jr. Which, uh, were these the one? Yeah, these were the like kind of like look for exclusive like throwing cards. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. So please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon or button to get notified every single time a new video goes up. Check out all the links in the video description down below and subscribe to all of those channels. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.
See ya.